So I had a little issue where I was trying to straddle the trench. I knew I was taking a risk. The trench was three foot wide and typically I don't straddle that wide of a trench. The side of the trench gave way and my excavator slid into the trench on one side. So I've tried a couple things already, but I decided what I'm gonna try to do, I backfilled the trench behind the excavator and the tracks still move. I really can't spin the turret because the the whole body is up against the side of the trench. Since I can't quite get dirt under the track that's at the bottom of the trench, I'm gonna to try to break the dirt away from this track. And let's just see if I can get this to level out a little bit by taking dirt out from underneath this track. So I moved the pile of dirt out of here. Wish me luck. So I rigged up a little bit of thing Use the other bobcat to at least get some pressure off of my excavator. I was able to take the arm, pull it out of the hole. I couldn't use the turret because it was up against the trench, but I was able to turn the bucket all the way to the side and using the arm, I was able to lift this track completely out of the trench. So now I've got it level. I did do some damage to the side of the excavator but i've got it level now i'm going to use this bobcat to scoop a bunch of dirt underneath that track and i should be out of the trench and smooth sailing so i just wanted to show kind of how free floating this excavator is right now that entire track is off the ground all held up by the arm of the bucket I often tell my guys, if you have hydraulics and you can move them, you're not really stuck. There's a pretty good example of that. Okay, so that track is still free floating. I pushed some dirt under the back of it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and back up and get myself on hard ground using that arm. And hopefully get a decent video of that. But we'll see what happens.